Welcome to a, another Poker Night. I've got a game for you called Seven Card Phoenix. Now this is an exclusive game. You're not going to find instructions for it anywhere on the internet. It is a wild card changing game. And it's called the Phoenix because you can rise from the ashes. You can have a total uh, low hand and the last card could give you the winning hand. It's a lot of fun. Keep watching. I'm going to show you how to play it and deal it. Here's how you play and deal seven card Phoenix. Determine what your ante is going to be. I go with a low ante on this game because there's a lot of betting. We'll say each chip's worth a quarter. Ante's a quarter. You're going to start out with a shuffled deck and you're going to deal all players seven down cards. Now they can look at their cards, they can rearrange them, organize them however they want to, but once they set them back down on the table, they're not allowed to reorganize them. So they can look at them, shuffle them around, figure out how they want to put them. And then once you set them back down in front of your chip stack, just like this, you're not allowed to rearrange them. Take the rest of the deck of cards, take the top card, flip it over in the center of the table. This is the wild card determination card. That means right now, twos are wild, but you cannot use this center card. It only determines the wild card. So right now, twos are wild, and this can change whenever there's a pair shows up on the table. Take the remaining deck of cards, turn over the top card. You got a four of spades. Now action in this game goes clockwise, so left of the dealer, this player needs to start turning over cards until he beats this four. So right now, he just turned over a wild card. He can claim this as an ace. Ace beats the four, so it's his turn to bet. He bets a quarter, we'll say everybody else is gonna call. Now this player needs to turn over enough cards to beat this card. So we're gonna say he determined this is gonna be an ace for right now. So he needs to turn over enough cards to beat an ace. Now that a pair is on the board, the wild card is going to change. Take this top card that's on the deck, just burn that to the bottom. Take the top card that's down, flip it over. Now nines are wild. So right now this player with a pair of threes has beat this. Now this is just a plain deuce now. So it's his turn to bet. We're going to say he's going to bet a quarter and everybody's going to call. Now the dealer needs to turn over enough cards to beat this pair of threes. So we got an ace, we got a deuce, we got a nine. Nines are wild. So he's got a pair of aces showing. Aces beat to three, so he doesn't have to turn over anymore. And it's his turn to bet. Or check, whatever he wants to do. He's going to bet a quarter, everybody's going to call. I keep going around the table. This player here. He needs to turn over enough cards to beat this pair of aces. So he's got a jack, a six, a queen, a four, it's not looking too good, a ten, and an ace. He can't beat the pair of aces, so he's pretty much out of the game. He got out of this game cheap. So now it's this player's chance to bet again. We'll say he's going to bet a quarter, and this player's going to call. So now this player, player needs to beat that pair of aces. So 10, a 5, pair of 7s, but since there's a pair on the board, wild card changes. Take the next top card, flip it over, and now 6s are wild. So right now, this player has no sixes, but he's got a pair of threes and a pair of sevens, which that beats dealer's hand. So it's his turn to bet. So he's going to bet a quarter, and I'm going to call. So now I need to turn over enough cards to beat his threes and sevens. So I got a pair of cowboys. But since a pair showed up, 
That wild card changes again. Now fives are wild. Look at this guy. He's got a five, so he's got he's got a full boat. Sevens over threes. No fives over here. But says chance to bet. Because he's showing the highest hand. He's gonna bet a quarter. And I'm gonna call. So I need to keep turning over enough cards to beat that full boat. Or Hopefully another pair shows up and I can change the wild card and mess up his hand. There's a 10 and a 4. So no pair showed up, so the wild card stays the 5. Dealer's out of cards. You can't beat what's showing. This player here wins the entire pot. Just for giggles, let's see what the remaining card is he has. Queen, really no help. And that ends the game. So that's how you play and deal 7 card Phoenix. Now rules of the game are, remember you can organize your cards however you want. You just can't reorganize them once you set it back down on the table. The wild card changes whenever a pair shows up on the board. And whatever the best 5 card poker hand is, is going to win the entire pot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I uh, hope you practice dealing this at home a little bit and take it to your next poker night games with your buddies. I hope they enjoy playing it as well. It's a fun game. You can go from looking like you're going to lose to winning the entire pot just with a flip of one card. Fun game to play and I thank you guys for watching.